Hi, hope you're doing well. Well, it was reported in the Daily Mail that America has found two cases of gonorrhea that are super strong and resistant to almost all antibiotics. In other words, if you get it, you might not be able to be cured, or if you're going to be cured, it might take a longer time, longer time with the antibiotics, and it might take a combination of antibiotics, and that can be very costly, but hopefully you at least would have some health care. So they urge prevention. Make sure if you are having sex, use condoms always. Both of the patients that have been found with this super gonorrhea are in Massachusetts. They are not connected with each other in any way. And it's likely that the disease is spread beyond them, but they don't really know. This is the first time they have found gonorrhea that has been so resistant. Gonorrhea is the second most common sexually transmitted infection in the United States with about 700,000 new cases detected every year. Symptoms of the disease are painful or burning sensation when urinating or an unpleasant vaginal discharge, though some patients may have absolutely no symptoms at all. If left untreated, the gonorrheal infection can lead to serious complications, including infertility and potentially life-threatening pelvic inflammatory disease in women. That pelvic inflammatory disease can cause abscesses, pus balls inside of the body, which can lead to severe pain and possibly death. In pregnant women, gonorrhea has also been linked to permanent blindness in newborns. Usually, cases of gonorrhea are treated with an injection of the antibiotic ceftriaxone. Patients may also be offered antibiotics to take orally, like azithromycin or doxycycline. But Massachusetts health officials warn that the strain that infected the two patients showed signs of at least some resistance to almost every drug used to treat the bacteria. The first patients came to doctors complaining of urethritis or inflammation of the urethra, the tube that carries urine through the penis or from the kidney down and outside of the body. The individual had no known contact with gonorrhea and also no history of recent travel. Testing showed they had gonorrhea, which was successfully treated with an injection of ceftriaxone. But further lab tests showed the strain had a reduced susceptibility to this antibiotic and was resistant to others used against the bacteria. In other words, they gave the antibiotic to the person. They were able to get rid of the disease, but when they did sensitivity tests, resistance tests to the bacteria, they found that it was susceptible to the ceftriaxone, but it was very resistant to it. So they could kill it, but it was going to be more difficult to get rid of. It was also found to have the genetic mutation pen a 60 which was previously linked to ceftriaxone resistance by British scientists. Massachusetts health officials say they also detected a second patient whose infection also had the pen a 60 mutation indicating antibiotics would be 
less effective. The individual was also treated successfully with ceftriaxone. So although these two were treated successfully, it means that in the future, with continued resistance, it may not work. They are not going to reveal the ages, sexes, or anything else about these patients. Now, I feel they should give some kind of identification, not necessarily their names or specifically pointing them out, but it needs to be tracked closely because if these people and their contacts go on having sex liberally without condoms, this can spread all over the United States quickly. And so I don't think that this should all be secret. This is very, very serious. Neither case said they had recently traveled, although health chiefs and recent travel among their sexual partners could not be ruled out. The strain spotted in Massachusetts was the same as that detected in eight patients in Britain between December 2021 and June 2022, and that had been previously reported circulating in the Asia-Pacific region. Dr. Cook said the discovery of the strain of gonorrhea is a serious public health concern which health authorities have been vigilant about detecting. We urge all sexually active people to be regularly tested for sexually transmitted infections and to consider reducing the number of their sexual partners and increasing their use of condoms when having sex. Dr. Laura Bachman, Chief Medical Officer for the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, said the case was a reminder of the ongoing threat from the disease. Timely identification and treatment, as well as rapid public health response, are essential in keeping patients safe and reducing the risk of community transmission, she said. If they are not going to give any more information, if you do have a problem with a vaginal discharge, it is important important that you have a doctor test for the type of bacteria causing the infection. Don't just get a treatment because if you get treated and you do get cured, you might have been cured of this very resistant gonorrhea and it would be very helpful if you had been tested for the type of bacteria causing your vaginal discharge and also for the amount of resistance of the bacteria so that the CDC can track the infection in the country. So don't go in and just get treatment. We must all remain alert for potential gynecological treatment failures as we combat the growing threat of antimicrobial resistance. So what is gonorrhea? Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted infection caused by the bacteria Neisseria gonorrhea or gynococcus. The bacteria is usually found in discharge from the penis or vaginal fluid. It is passed through unprotected vaginal, oral, or anal sex, as well as sharing vibrators or sex toys that have been used without a condom. The bacteria can infect the cervix, urethra, rectum, throat, and eyes. That's very important to know. You can get it in your mouth, in your eyes, in your throat, oral sex, and in your rectum. It is also spread from pregnant women to their unborn babies. As the bacterium cannot survive outside the body for long, Gonorrhea is not spread by kissing, hugging, sharing towels, toilet seats, or swimming. Around 1 in 10 men and half the women experience no symptoms. But if you have a symptom, 
It could include thick green or yellow discharge from the genitals, pain when urinating, bleeding between periods in women. Treatment is usually a single antibiotic injection and tablet. Gonorrhea can be prevented by using condoms during sex and not sharing sex toys. That's condoms for oral and vaginal and anal sex. And any time that there's going to be a discharge from the genitals, there should be a condom used because gonorrhea can be spread if the fluid gets into your eyes. So I just wanted to report this. This is very serious and everyone, male and female, needs to be aware of this new development, this new discovery of this super gonorrhea. So what do you think? Like and subscribe. Bye.